Pathetic earthlings, who can save you now? Me. Hello and welcome to Angel of Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. It's my little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And um, right now I'm outside of Drew's getting ready to hang out with my bud. But I'm feeling kind of uninspired lately, so hopefully get inspired. Maybe see if we can get him out of the house or if we can't get him out of the house, maybe see if we can find something online. A little inspired. The weather's not helping me either. Get this into the house dry and then uh, see what Drew's up to. Back in the saddle again. Man, I am feeling so uninspired as a way to talk about it, but not negative. It's just like missing something. It's Halloween season. I haven't heard it. I gotta like Get on it. Started the daughter's haunted house is in May's and it looks amazing and all that, no pun intended. And um, her costume is well underway as you saw. But um, I don't know, I just gotta, I haven't been to any stores yet. We're gonna I change guess. that tonight. Oh, that we're at? We're going to Spirit Halloween because why not? <laughs> Damn right. And also, uh, we're gonna check out Halloween Outlet. Are they open? Yeah, they are. Cool, let's go. Let's go do this. Okay, now okay, now we're officially on our way. Yes, we are. Come on, Tiki God, give us some good juju. Vincent Price, anywhere? Okay, yep. I don't know. He's right. cravat. So, what is gonna be first? We're we having a double dose of Halloween. Well, I figure what we'll do is we'll do the Halloween outlet first because that's the closest. Yeah, that's the local flavor. If you're looking for Halloween 24 7, seven days a week, you know, 365 days a year, yeah. that's the place you want to go. How are they this year? Have you been in there yet? Um, I kind of went in there. They had a tent sale last weekend. Oh, okay. I know we missed it, but... Then it wasn't a pay week anyway. On another note, somber note, the news that I saw... Yeah, I know. ...about that sad loss of a great Halloween store. You know, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but... Jack Hoover's Halloween. Rest in peace. Today was the day, apparently, there was a big auction. So. So. And now we move on. Now we move on, yes. On a um, side note, when I was meeting Sam Jones, I was telling him about you and how you had a bediddle. Uh, I had a bediddle. <laughs> no, I, I got the bediddle. <laughs> Anyways, about how, you know, you did the costume and all that, and you made it in the, He seemed like he was more interested in meeting you. <laughs> And me. Oh, he was man. very cool. He was very cool. I, you know, you guys saw it in the episode already. So. What I would have done just to have been Ming for him, yeah. I would have joked around. I think he'll be back in the circuit. I think the only reason he isn't doing Super Boston Mega Fest is because I think he's still filming Ted 2 right now. It's just still filming locally. So apparently he's in it. Even though when I met him there, I don't know if it was just coincidence or not, but there wasn't a single thing of Ted to be signed on that table. Really? It was all. Um, Flash Gordon, uh, some spirit stuff, uh, some thing before he was, um, he did a movie, he played um, opposite of uh, Bo, uh, I'm not blanking his name, Bo Diddle, not Bo Diddle, but um, Bo what's this go, go, Bo Diddle, he played opposite of Bo Diddle, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Jesus Christ, hey, there's dude, lines seriously. there, there's lines on the road for yeah, me, I know, this guy doesn't know where the lines are. Back at Dunkin' Donuts. That was scary. Um, it's Halloween. It is. So, I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of Ted stuff there, so who knows? Mm -hmm. But um, this man will meet him, and he will be Ming. You guys saw the costume on that, too. Oh, that's coming out. You know, when he goes, 
quarterback New York Jets, I'm going to have to basically go, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> wow. We're almost at the location. First up is a Halloween outlet. And I haven't been in here in a long time, so I'm looking forward to this. Ooh. Last time I've been in here, it was, it was kind of it was a little bit disappointing. Last time I was in here, it wasn't Halloween season, and it always seems like the size of the store is big, but there's not a whole lot of merchandise in there. And a lot of the merchandise is very expensive. And oh, that's the other thing, too. So, they um, really gouge on the prices. They don't have a... They're not, they're not really big on the small ticket items. You know how some people say they don't have that Christmas spirit or holiday spirit because it hasn't snowed or anything like that? I think I'm starting to get what they feel like right now. It's just... I don't know. Today is actually October 1st. It is. The decorations at work are up and decorations around the house are up, but I haven't really gone the, the whole hog yet. I don't know, Andy. Smack into it. There you go. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 40 points. I'm crushing this, man. Oh my god. Well, it's Worcester. It's the little capital of New England. Oh, it, it is. Yeah, right, you, give me one of those. Give me a Batman one. The cops. Give me, give me a Batman one. Give me a Batman hit. <laughs> It might work. It's like about another 100 yards after Peterson. This is like the teaser trailer before the stuff you can afford, this whole store. Yeah, it's... <laughs> this is kind of like... This is the this showroom. Is, this is just to like get the excitement going about This is it. just the showroom. The showroom literally because everything's like, you know, $1,200. Yeah. All year. 52 weeks a year or whatever or something like that. What hour are they going? There it is. They don't know 24 hours. I wish they were. Here it is. Big ass pumpkin. All right. Let's go. That, that was the Halloween outlet. Yeah, that's quite the um, experience. Things screaming and stuff, it's awesome. I was able to get a cool, a couple of cool window clings, I think, that uh, Elizabeth will like, but that was just to get the mojo going. Now the mojo's going. So it's the car, so I gotta get going. <laughs> you all missed it, but that was very yeah. funny. We're uh, actually taking a little bit of a detour before our other uh, initial stop that we had on the roster. We're gonna go to Savers because I was talking to Drew about a certain costume I want to try to find or just get some more inspiration. Savers is like the place to go for cheap for, costumes. Yes, for cheap costumes, and they got some pretty good stuff too. I mean, well, it's a thrift store, but at the same time, they have really good prices for wardrobe and. Well, you know, we've had this discussion about making homemade costumes before. Absolutely. And, you know, Savers is a great place to have makeup there, but they also kind of encourage you to get your own stuff. Yeah, and like, buy this, like, generic brand of character costumes, and you can tweak them yourself with conventions. This mm -hmm. is a great place for that kind of thing. Um, but this place I found is not really good for, like, decor so much, like, household decor. It's like, no. haunted house, like, plastic chains and, and rubber bands and stuff like that. You can get that kind of stuff here, but nothing, like, really substantial, like, that place we just were just that. Now, I was in there and had a really nostalgia bomb moment. I'm like, really kind of, boom, it on these people. You remember the days when, how, way back now, you gotta think way back, in the way back machine there, people body. The days when Halloween costumes came in those boxes. Oh yeah. And it was those really cheesy, thin plastic. Yep. Uh, the cheap masks. Cheap masks. It really looked like it nothing. Like, it was looked nothing like a Star Wars character. It was like a parka. You got a parka for Halloween. And it was plastic and like, oh my gosh. And it, it was some of them were really terrible because like, you got like the Luke Skywalker one. It wouldn't. It'd be a horrible looking, creepy mask. And uh, the outfit wouldn't be like the white thing he wore. It would be like. A a it'd be like a plastic parker that says Star Wars, Luke Skywalker on it. So your picture is here and here. It was, oh my gosh, you know, all oh, those things are so stupid. Mm -hmm. But the ironic thing now is those things are big bank to collectors. That's, that's, because, that's because we opened our toys and we had fun with them and that's why well, they're those so collectible now. Those weren't toys, those were costumes. Too. Well, I know, but I mean... You're supposed to fold it back up and put it back in there and keep it in the closet till next year. <laughs> yeah, right. Then it happened. I had Darth Vader like three times. Probably one for each movie. Probably. Did he do that for Jedi? Was it? Was it I don't know if they did that. Yeah, and they, you know, I remember getting Darth Vader for Halloween and stuff like that. I liked Darth Vader. He was one of my favorite costumes. Uh, and rightfully so.